Hi, it's Kraz, the new beekeeper guy. Well, we did something new with our beeswax. Well, new for us. It's making dipped taper candles. Here's one right there. Today, we're going to show you how I made those on this episode of the new beekeeper guy. I'm the new beekeeper guy. So I used these oxygen cylinders. They're empty and they're drained out and I took the uh, valves off to use to make my dipping vat, if you will. So I didn't have a, a container deep enough and I didn't want to waste a lot of wax. So I used these oxygen cylinders and used a grinding wheel to cut the tops off these aluminum um, canisters. And um, then I tied nuts on the bottom of the cord the wick cord, and um, that is what I'm using to dip into my candles. So I take and I place nuts on the bottom of the wick so it will go down deep enough. Okay, so we've got this, we're making some candles, um, melting some wax. And I'm going to try some old-fashioned dipped candles. I'm going to dip these into my cylinder, which I had made from made from taking an oxygen cylinder, grinding the top off. We're going to see how dip candles work. This is a experiment. We have some regular candle molds we've used in the past, but we're gonna try dipping it from here to here to here to here, and then letting it cool. We'll see how it happens. We'll see how it works. It's almost all melted. Just almost. Now, although that says oxygen and beware, it's not actually oxygen anymore. It's just a cylinder. It's an aluminum cylinder. All right, um, we're gonna see if this dipping thing works at all. We're gonna try to dip these. I've sped up the video a little bit here. Um, this is actually two different dipping sessions. Uh, one of the sessions I used a pitcher of water to cool the candles down um, you can see me dipping in the pitcher uh, in the second attempt I just used um, the other oxygen cylinder filled with cold water because it was about the same depth as the um, what well, was the same depth as the a dipping cylinder so um, I'm gonna speed this process up and cut it out but as you can see I just dipped it a couple of times and then put it in the cold water um, I eventually learned that going straight from dipping to cold water to dipping to cold water was more effective than dipping a couple of times in the wax vat because it doesn't give it enough time to cool. So in this first attempt that I used, I used a hat rack to kind of hold my um, candles on to cool. In the second attempt, I used a little piece of wood with some nails in it that were clamped to the countertop with a sheet. Okay, the dipping process will now begin. So I sped up the video again, but you can see how I'm dipping from the vat of wax, which is the, the first cylinder, to the cold water cylinder. Just one dip, and then one dip. And that seemed to work just as well.
they're starting to take shape. And I've got my cooling vat, I made it higher. All right, so I, I missed this, but I cut the nuts off the bottom to give them more room to, to dip. And they're doing all right now. Where the nuts not on them, they float, so you got to be careful uh, when you cut the nuts off. And there we have candles. I'm going to cut the bottoms off and flatten them out. But they are beeswax candles. This has been the new beekeeper guy